Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Philippe Borges. I am an ophthalmologist. I'm specialized in cataract surgery. And I'm now, in this moment, I'm doing my doctorate degree. And I'm a retinal fellow from University of Sao Paulo, too. Some people ask me to do my videos in English because they don't understand Portuguese. So I decided to, to remake my last lesson about cross shop uh, in English this time. So I'm very thankful for, to everybody who give, give me uh, a feedback about the videos, the audio, the video quality, um, and also the, the language of the video. So thank you so much. So the technique I'm going to talk about is cross shop. I have a surgical video um, that I'm using the technique of cross shop. If you want to see the surgical video on the, the end of this video, I'm going to leave the chart. So you just click on the chart and you can go to my surgical video. So um, please subscribe on my channel because I will send some videos. I will post it, some videos every Saturday on 11 a.m. from Brazil's hour. So if you want to, to see more videos on um, other lessons, just subscribe and don't forget to, to sign uh, the, um, the bell <laughs> below. So the technique was described by Brian Kim from Georgia, United States, and was published on Journal of Cataract and Refractive Surgery on 2009. This technique was described uh, to use in patients who have diseases on the zonus. So in this point of the lesson, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, weak zones. Some patients have more risks to have this kind of disease. So ocular trauma is one of these, Marfan syndrome and pseudisfoliation syndrome. This last one, the pseudisfoliation syndrome, um, affects primarily the anterior chamber structures. The, the main structures are trabecular meshwork, anterior capsule, and border of the pupil, and the zonus. So this, these patients have more potential risks to have dialysis and pseudosfoliative glaucoma. This kind of glaucoma has worse prognosis than a, a primary angle uh, open glaucoma. So that, what's the problem to have the zonulus diseases? Uh, we, for us surgeons, we have to concern about some mortis there is around this kind of disease. So the vitreous, the, the, the vitreous loss during the surgery, it's a potential risk because you can have a PCR uh, during this, your surgery or even a dialysis of the zones. So you need to be more carefully and do a surgery with more uh, attention. Another problem that we can have is uh, dropped uh, a part of the nucleus because of the dialysis and the difficult to, to get more dilated pupil. That is one of the problems to have pseudosfoliative syndrome. And after the surgery, you need to be careful about the position of, of the IOL. In these cases of the problems with the, the zona, you can have some dislocated IOLs or even a, a subluxated IOL to the vitreous cavity. So be careful with the spaces. So let's talk about the technique. The first step, you do the hydrosection of the nucleus, but you don't rotate it because the rotation of the nucleus causes some stress on your zonulus. The second step is to do the first fracture on the middle of the nucleus. Doing this fir first fracture, you're gonna leave two halves of the nucleus. The third step, you put your teeth between the two halves and you're, go you're not gonna push two or three mode in this time. You just leave your teeth between the, the M, the M nucleus and you're gonna put your chopper perpendicular to your tip and you're gonna bring the shop chopper to your tip doing like a fake shop 
without rotation the nucleus with an angle of 90 degrees. The fourth step, with two small pieces, you're gonna remove one of them, okay? Uh, just putting uh, two or three, but without rotation, the nucleus. You can put your chopper and bring the pieces to near to your tip. Removing them, you're gonna leave a half of the nucleus. So with your tip, you're gonna rotate it and put the open of the tip uh, near to your half piece. And you're gonna remove them, fact emulsificated. That's the end of the technique of cross chop. In this surgery, the patient don't have uh, weak zones, but I use the cross chop technique just to give an example. If we pay attention in this moment, I put the chopper perpendicular to my tip and bring the point of the chopper to the point of my tip, doing the cross chop technique. So I'd like to thank everybody who watched the video and in special Ahmed Ali who gave me the inspiration to do the videos in English. Uh, subscribe on the channel and don't forget to sign the bell because I will post videos, new videos every Saturday at 11 a.m. of Brazilian hour. Thank you so much.